everybody will hear from language academy guys what a great day i've got navneet with me very first attempt after the class is 390s and 18 on a scorecard 88 overall congratulations navneet very well done um very first thing i remember you spent a lot of time in lab right you used to spend hours you have taken a number of mock tests you have taken a lot of feedback what do you think is important when it comes to pt exam because you have an option to study at home as well why did you choose to come to the lab I tried studying at home, hmm. but uh, it was not consistent. So I uh, enrolled in classes. Classes are better because uh, uh, you push us hmm. to come here every day to practice and to focus on important tasks. Hmm. I was also doing like uh, focusing on an important task hmm. such as MCQs and other things. Hmm. But uh, you told me here that which are important tasks and which you need to focus on. Hmm. So basically. you got a clear picture of what are the things you need to work on yeah. because when we practice by ourselves we are not that consistent we have a lot of distractions yeah a lot but, of distractions yes. but when you are here in the environment you see everyone studying everyone running towards the same goal and then you have that motivation that yes i have to do it as well um you have taken a lot of mock tests as well you took a full mock test a day or two days before your exam was due yeah how mock tests yes how important are mock tests very important like one in mo- one mock test i was doing fine and the next uh, mm-hmm. my score was low and again i was doing uh, taking mock test again so i think i knew what uh, what i was lacking in mm-hmm. so i got chance to improve so basically you got an idea of what are the probable mistakes which you can make in the exam yeah. so. and we learn time management in mock mm-hmm. test very important guys before you go for the exam you need to take a number of mock tests as she mentioned time management is the key because when we practice we practice in a very relaxed environment but when you are taking the mock test you have that time limit you have that pressure that you have to finish off and then you have that pressure that you need to get the score as well because your exam is approaching another thing you need to make sure whenever you take mock test you get the feedback as she used to and that is going to help you get your score um any other advice for students out there especially in reading you've got a perfect 19 reading It's, um, something which is not that easy, and you were, you know, bit hesitant with reading as well. Yeah. What did you do in order to get a perfect nineteen reading? In mock test, I was not even getting eight in mm. reading, so I was a bit worried. So I tried keep on practicing fill ups and reorders. So uh, I got feedback from you and many other teachers. Mm. Uh, like they uh, pushed me to focus on some important tasks, reading and reorders. Mm. They're most important, and. Uh, um mcqs are not that important right. so i try uh, to practice on the important tasks that's right that's right that's very very important with one thing which i learned from her journey is that you need to focus on things which are going to give you more reward earlier she used to focus on mcqs as well but you don't really need to focus on things which are not that important you need to focus on reading blanks you need to focus on reorders and you need to focus on your read alouds in order to get your score in your reading section any final piece of advice for students out there planning to go for the exam they are preparing by themselves for they just missing by one or two points what are the do's and what are the don'ts yeah just come to language again <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> like like you teach hundreds of students every day you know uh, what they are lacking in and what they need to practice more mm-hmm. so i suggest uh, start taking classes here and uh, And practice yeah. is the key to success yeah. that's the important mm-hmm. and the important task are read alouds do uh, uh, at least 20 every day mm-hmm. read alouds repeat sentences write from dictation and reading fill ups and listening blanks correct correct very good um very important guys you need to make sure you practice your consistent consistency is the key if you practice today don't turn up for the next two days the fourth day you'll come in the lab you'll lose the track you'll lose the flow and by then you'll have to start all over again from scratch be consistent practice and practice on the things which are going to reward you higher things like read aloud repeat sentence write from dictation and the most important reading blanks if you do so you practice you come regular to the lab you sit in the exam room like she did a week before her exam after that you make sure you take feedback and a number of mock tests success is going to be yours all the very best for your not enough um that's it from this video guys i'll see you very soon till then make sure you keep on practicing and give you 100% do not give up if she has done it i have done it you can do it as well just make sure you pay attention to things which are important and nail your pt in the very first day thank you guys thank you now crack your pt e sitting at your home 
Language Academy brings to you the smartest AI-powered practice portal, with instant scores and feedback for all the tasks. Along with the practice questions, access free sectional and full mock tests, and get instant scorecard with in-depth feedback and analysis. For more hidden secrets, tips, strategies, and proven templates, click the link below and subscribe to our video course today.